our buddies, classic Doobie Brothers track there. Listen to the music. You've got a great opening guitar riff, really fun to play. Uh, we're in the key of E, and we're starting with a... It's all based around an E chord with a G sharp in the bass there of the 11th fret of the A string. So we've got... So we're playing with a hammer. So I'm playing 9 to 11 on the A string. And also playing these three notes, nine, 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 okay, on the D, G, and B strings. So we've got a B, an E, and the G sharp, so just a standard E major chord. So I'm just doing, so we're just hammering and picking sort of bottom kind of two notes, and then then strumming the chord. So we've got... So that's kind of basic rhythm. So, so yeah, so you've just got... Your chord there is 11, 9, 9, 9. But you hammer to that first note from... from 9. Then... I'm just, I'm doing, ah, just hammering from the 999 on D, G and B, hammering to 11 on the D string, a C sharp, and 10 on the B string, an A, so it gives you an A chord. And then just pulling those notes off. And then a little couple of sort of, I could just keep them frayed, but I think it's just more scratchy. Yeah, but whatever works. Yeah, so that's your kind of basic riff for the E chord. It's really a fun one to play. Okay, okay, great fun one. And so, so that's your intro and you're playing that at the start of the verse. Then you just play the first half bit and go to a C sharp minor chord. And a B chord. And an A. And then you shift the A to an A7 sus4. So that's five, seven, five, seven, five, five. I'm just putting a little hammer in there, a little fill of six to seven of the G string. So just, okay, just, or you could just stay on that. But I'm just putting a little embellishment in there. You know, up to you, it all fits. So you've got an A7 to support chord, and then back into the intro. Okay, and then it just all repeats. Okay, and so that, that repeats again, and then you've got the A7 support chord. Again, just that first part of that E chord. And then you're into the chorus, which is C sharp minor. Whoa. Nope. To the music. We've got C sharp minor A. C sharp minor A. C sharp minor A, F sharp seven, and then back into the intro. So basically, after that F sharp seven, I've got an A chord, but over that I'm playing. So I'm I'm playing the open strings. But on the D and G strings, I'm playing an A and a C sharp. So then you've got an A with an added second there, an added B. That's jangly chord. 
and then I'm just moving those, playing all on the D and G strings, go down to G sharp and B, six and four, two and uh, four, F sharp and A, back to G sharp and B. Then again, coming back up, start again, a little faster there. And then I have to play, I play that, I do a little hammer there again on 9 to 11, then catching 9 on the D string, and then you're back into. Okay, so. Okay, and then you're back into that. And then there's a little bridge section. So after your second chorus, I'm just playing E chord, then D, and over that D chord, I'm just adding some little embellishments there. The classic Hendrix style. So you take a D, then you take these three notes. Which is 777 on the D, G, and B strings. And over that, you can add to get those little Hendrix style fills. 999, nine, nine, so 9 to 7997 nine, seven, on the G, D, and A strings. 7, going down to D if you want. So you've got. So the three chords is very simply E, D, A, back to E, and again, twice. So putting those fills over that D on the A chord, I'm playing it 11, 9, 10 on D, G and B, and again, I can fill in with these notes, B, C sharp, E. So 9-11-9, D and G, just playing about with this. And again, 9-11-9 on A and D. So you've got F sharp, G sharp, E. So go back to the E. And again, you can do like you did fills using the same notes. So you can sort of do Then it just stays on the A to come. So, so the A it takes you out, last chord. You don't go back to the E, instead, go into the chorus. And the chorus just goes round on the round on the end. And then just playing that kind of a little, little just, just doing that. And then, whoa, whoa, it's amazing. Yeah, so just going round and round. And then there's just a couple of little nice extra little lead bits just on that uh, fill section. Just some, uh, it starts with, just, just on that bridge. I'm just doing a pre-bending release on C sharp to B. So bending on 12 to 14 and releasing on the B string. Then a G to a sharp. Yeah. So that's bending on 12 or 11, up to 12 and releasing. On G. Then uh, we've got F sharp to E. So again on 12 this time on the E string, releasing. And then a slower. bend going back to the E chord, just C sharp to E again, and then just repeats. And then 
God, he's like chorus just bending an F sharp to G sharp on 14, bending to 16. Okay, and then I just put in a few little fills at the end of the song. You can improvise a solo. We've got two chords, mainly, apart from the F sharp 7. We've got C sharp to A. So over these two chords, the scale that they're using and fits perfectly is... the C sharp minor pentatonic. Okay, we're in the key of E. C sharp minor is the relative minor of E major. So that very familiar C sharp minor pentatonic scale that I'm sure you're all familiar with. But if you're not, it's 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9, 12. C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, G going up the neck, 12, 14, 16, then B up there, okay, all the way 19, and also you can do, do a bit of that on the track, you can hear them bending there from that F sharp to G sharp, so bend on 19, the B string and play 19 on the E string. That kind of country bend. So all those, all those notes you can have a play about with on the end section. Have some fun. Okay, it's a great track, really great fun to play. And next we'll take a look at the bass. I'm starting the bass with B, E, E. That's nine on D to seven on A to nine on G and then Leading into the verse, I'm just playing open E, G sharp on four, A and B, five and seven. So on the E chord, I'm playing root and fifth. I'm playing E and B, seven and seven of the A and E strings. So I'm playing that over the rest of the intro and the E chord, and then just leading to the C sharp minor chord. But playing a passing note of a D sharp on six on the A string. And the first time I'm playing the C sharp minor chord, just the same with root and fifth. Okay, so just four and four on A and E. But then subsequent times, I'm playing. So over that C sharp minor, I'm playing a little fill. I'm playing C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. Which of course fits great because these three notes, the three chord tones of C sharp minor. So we've got four, six, seven, four, six of the A and D strings. Then to the B chord, just simply back to two and two on A and E, a B and F sharp. And then really nice little climb up on the A to A sus four chord. Back into this, I'm playing open A to B on two, to C sharp on four, to D on five, to E on seven, to F sharp on nine, and then I'm playing F sharp, A, and then going to a B, F sharp, A, a sharp B, so that's nine seven nine seven eight nine on A and D, and then back into okay. So okay, so that's your verses, and then in the choruses, um, going from uh, playing good. Playing. So that's two notes again. 
So after that climb up, back to a bar B, then into the chorus, which is So again, I'm just playing root and fifth over that C sharp minor chord, just four and four. And then a little shorter climb up on the A chord. Just A, B, C sharp, D, E. Open, two, four, five, and seven. And then again. And again. Here I'm going on the F sharp chord, got F sharp seven chord. So again, just chord root and fifth, the chord tones, four and four on D and A. And playing a little leading note to the A chord, just the G sharp on six. And then we're going down, kind of similar to the way we went up, we're down this time. So I'm going A, G sharp, F sharp, just on an A scale, E, D, C sharp, B, E, E. So, so we've got seven on D, so seven, six, four, seven on A, five, four, two, and two on D, and then we're back into. Okay, and that's your kind of first choruses, and there's a little stop where I just, um, I just stopped on an open E when there's a little breakdown section the bass doesn't play and it comes back in on the chorus going round and round on the chorus to the end of the tune and a really fantastic tune that so enjoy a bit of the old doobie brothers thanks for watching buddies